Hey there guys, me and Aaron here back with a brand new video and a brand new episode of Album Slash EP Reaction Slash Review. Last time we did Deftones self-titled album, Deftones, and um, it was pretty good. And um, But this time we're going to be doing probably one of the most controversial Metallica albums, and I have the physical copy of it, and Justice for All. I mean, this thing, um, I think, what I've heard, I've heard Blackened and One, and I've also heard the bass track for, Bla for Blackened and... It really bugs me um, that they decided to say no to bass on this album. I guess I maybe get that it could have been um, them dealing with um, Cliff's death and they were completely over that. But also, we, we could have... Think, they wasted... They wasted nine songs of amazing stuff written by Jason... Because, uh, because the walls was an idiot. Also, the mixing, the drums sounded kind of flat and too tight, way too tight. Like, unlike newer Metallica stuff, they they sound better. But on here, they just sound really tight. And even the previous Metallica albums had really had pretty good mixing for what they could for what they were able to do with their budgets and whatever. But anyways, enough talking. Let's get into it. Pretty good. I like this sleeve. First song is called Blackened. Wait, hold on, no, no, this is... <laughs> At least they acknowledge that he did the bass, but they, they, did turn him, they did turn the bass all the way down. So what's the point? I feel like, I mean, I guess it is to acknowledge that he did do it, but still, they, they fucked him over. This intro is phenomenal. I'm not 100% sure if, if I can hear the bass in this mix, but if that is what I'm hearing, I'm glad that they that they did that they decide to 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 um repurpose the bass and turn it all the way back up for the 30th anniversary edition of this album. 30 years ago, 2018. <laughs> Okay, the production does not bother me that much. It's just...
that was blacking and that was so fucking hard. Like, extremely fucking hard. That was just really insane. Just how much speed and power is put into that song to create just a fucking masterpiece of a song. This is... I can already say tell that this is probably their heaviest album that, that they ever did. And just right at the bat, based off of the first song, coming, come on. Yeah, no, just... Really amazing. Even though the production is bad, I do not mind how it sounds. I actually like how it sounds um, as well. I mean, just... The production is just, it's bad production, but, you know, I think it works for this. And I don't hate it. I just, just wanted to point out that, that factually it is bad production. But, you know, um, I think it, um, it's, it sounds good still. Uh, that is confusing as that is, I think it sounds good. Um, yeah, that song went fucking hard. 10 out of 10. Next song is a title track and Justice for All. Classic Metallica. So good. One more solo in the song. It's been 40 years since Kill em All. Oh, 
All right, that song was pretty good. I also felt like it drug on for a little bit too long, but you know, I liked it. I liked it a good amount. I just, eh, it could have been a lot worse though. <laughs> It was pretty good. It was just I feel like it drug on for just a bit too long, but you know it was a pretty good song overall. Just I'm sure it's gonna grow on me. I shouldn't say that, though, and then it might not. Um, I, I I I want to like it more than I do. It's pretty good. I just feel like it drug on for a bit too long, but you know it's pretty good for what it is. Solid eight out of ten. Yeah, pretty good. It's pretty good. Next song is Eye of the Beholder. Okay, see ya. I see ya. Okay, this is already epic. This is how you start the song. I like that. Okay, fuck yes. Sounds kind of like Rammstein a little bit. This sounds kind of like something like, like something like Too Hot. This sounds like Too Hot. That was um, Eye of the Beholder, and pretty good song. But you know, I'm sort I'm sort of missing like the fade out outro that they usually do on this record so far. Perhaps they didn't want to do that this time, but I would have liked some of that. But you know, this song is pretty good though. This song fucking rocks. At AF, ten out of ten. This one, this one's pretty good. This one's pretty fucking good. I like the um, the message of the song, like. Silencing freedom and all that is obviously bad, so yeah, no. Don't silence anyone's freedom unless they're a Nazi. Kanye West I'm looking at you. Um yeah, no. Next song is one. I love anti war songs. This intro is fucking fantastic. Okay, the bass is back. That's good.
great fucking song, 100%. That blows something out of the water. I don't know, but that's just... You know that the fucking classic. You know it, you know it, you know it. You can't deny that. It's a fucking classic. Absolute classic of a song. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Amazing song. Just so solo is amazing. Every single thing about this song is fucking amazing. And I'm so glad that they, that I think that they did put the bass back on this album. Still a little bit low, but I did hear it here and there. So that's good. I think they, I think they fixed it. Sort of. I'm not sure if I'm just delusional, but it seemed like they did. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm the only one who noticed or not, but I think they did. I do believe they did. It seems like that's the case. I can I can hear it a bit more on this on this on this record on 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 the CD version. Like I I don't think that they did on Spotify, but or streaming services for that matter. But I think they did here, and I I can hear it. Okay, I can hear it. I think. But yeah, twelve out of twelve fucking songs. It's fucking it's fucking amazing. Are you kidding me? Um, next song is the shortest straw. That was the shortest draw, and um, yeah, I know it was pretty good once again. Straightforward to Metallica, I felt like nothing too excited or amazing going on. Just classic Metallica, of course. Yeah, pretty good. 9 out of 10. Don't really have much else to say. Next song is Harvester of Star of Sorrow.
That was Harvester of Star one. Yeah, no, that one slapped. That one slapped quite a bit. I liked the, um, how it was a bit slower. And, st but still maintained the, um, heaviness of the rest of the record so far. Um, yeah, no, that was pretty based. Um, no, but seriously, that was... That fucking slapped. That was just a nice one of Metallica doing what they do best. I guess I don't have the most to say about the instrumentals, but, um... It was very good. I don't think there was a soul on this one. I, otherwise, I probably would have said something about it. Um, 9 out of 10. Next song is Afraid Ends of Sanity. I'm sure that back in the back in the day, now Metallica used to be that big scary band. They're so tame now. <laughs> They went fucking all out. That song was insane. That was non-stop fucking thrash. Like, wow. Just, wow. Sometimes I just can't believe how much power they just put into their shit and just fucking bullshit out of the water. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. That was just truly insane. Wow. Wow. Holy fucking shit. Fucking crazy. Oh my god. That solo was fucking insane as well. Oh my god. Wow. Just. I'm blown away just by how how nonstop powerful this song was. Just. There was no, no sort of like calm intro or anything. This was just. Eight minutes of pure fucking thrash. That's insane. This is really insane. I wonder if they can. No, no, they can't. They cannot. I was gonna ask if they could still play like this, but um, probably not. Wait, no, no. Okay, they can probably still play this song. Maybe they just choose not to. And maybe not the way they did it here, because of because of Lars or whatever. But no way, this is just. <laughs> oh my god, that song was fucking insane. Thirteen out of fucking thirteen. Holy shit, 
Holy shit. Seriously, just powerful. Fucking powerful. Anyways, next song is To Live Is To Die. Also, I know people who give Lars a lot of shit, and he deserves it. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about the transition there. That was... They could have just had... This be the song. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't have minded. It's just, this intro just felt kind of unnecessary and random. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm the only one who thinks that, but... I don't love it. I mean, I mean, the intro is good, but then the transition is the, the part I have the problem with. I didn't, I didn't like it really. I don't know. Burton's name is credited credited on uh, credited on this one. That was, um, fuck. That was To Live To Die. That was a great instrumental song. Just, wow. Cliff Burton wrote this one. That's kind of, that's a bit chilling to, um, to know for some reason. It's just, I get chills. I don't know. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, no, uh, besides, um, the, the part in the, in the intro, I really like the song. Very, very good. Once again. I don't know, I just love this. It's an instrumental, I don't know. Very phenomenal shit here. Wonderful. 10 out of 10, it's very good. 
Anyways, final song is Dyer's Eve. Alright. Try to sound a bit washy here. That was a good song, but I didn't feel like a good way to end the record. I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like they could have done a little bit better there. Very anticlimactic ending. I don't know. It was good, just very anticlimactic ending. <laughs> like I said before. Yeah, no. That song was very good, it went very hard. Just all five minutes of that, just. I mean, I don't mind ending with a short song. I just, the ending is, the ending itself is what I, um, is what I have a problem with. I didn't feel like it was a good way to end the record. I feel like it could have maybe gone on a bit longer. Maybe they could have droned out instead of just that sudden stop ending. Like, I don't know. Like, Call of Cthulhu was a, was a good ending. They could have done something like that. I don't know. But, you know, for what we got, I mean, I think it was all, it was all right. Just, um, but just all right. Nothing, like, amazing or anything. Not an amazing ending. Overall, the song is um, 9.5 out of 10. Very powerful, just not a great ending. In the solo, great. Now to rate the album overall, it was good. It was a collection of good songs. Um, that I don't know. If, I feel like it was kind of a bit messy at some points, but you know it was pretty good for for the most part. Just kind of messy at some points. I don't know. It was all right though. I don't love the record. Um, this was pretty good. Not, like, necessarily amazing, though. I don't know. But it was a good record, though. It's just nothing really amazing, I would say. Yeah, no, the vocals were good. The bass was kind of low. And the car, the guitar was washy at some point. Like, I feel like they could have done better. I don't know. And, I, and I'm, not, I'm not trying to offend anyone. I just... I feel like Metallica could have done Metallica could have done better. I don't know. Um, th um, this time around, I don't. 
I don't know. I feel like they could have done better. But overall, it was pretty good. It just, once again, I feel like they could have done a bit better. I keep saying that. Okay, no. They were going through a shit time at um in their lives. I um, I think this is probably the best that they could have given with the cir given circumstances and a recently deceased bass player. So I feel like this is Metallica probably at their lowest and that's why everything's a bit messy and untamed and the production is not good. But still, still. Yeah, overall solid 9 out of 10. It's pretty good. It's a good, good amount of songs, good amount of thrashage. It's good. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for your most probably stay alive. I'll see you in my next video. Next time we're going to be doing a band that Metallica will never tour with. Sleeping with Sirens with Ears to See and Eyes to Hear, their first album. Anyways, peace out. Love all of you.